Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. In the last video, we looked at examples of unexpected attack bonuses, ranging from Mamelukes to Sheep. The inspiration was the elite Mamelukes random looking plus one damage they do to themselves, but turned into a larger discussion around various strange attack bonuses, boni, bonopodes, etc. Though I didn't have a great reason for why Mamelukes have plus one, or why Cannon Galleons have an equally random looking plus four attack against Mamelukes specifically. Triram, who's a dev for Forgotten Empires, answered the question in the comments though, and it all makes a lot more sense now. In fact, in context, it would actually be stranger if Cannon Galleons didn't do plus four against Mamelukes. So in case you missed that comment, I thought we'd go over it, as it's a pretty interesting story of how we got here, and wraps up a loose thread from the previous video. Just to recap, in Age of Kings, camels were all cavalry. There was no such thing as a special camel type, and they just took the same bonus as any cavalry unit. Mamelukes then also took cavalry damage, and strangely enough considered infantry at that point, probably because of their ranged melee damage making them seem pretty similar to throwing axemen. In the Conqueror's expansion, the brand new camel type was introduced. Whether it was an engine limitation at the time, I'm not sure, but they only had so many types of armor, and to be efficient, they made camels and ships the same class, probably thinking there would be very little overlap between the camels and the ship's counters. It's not like pikemen can find their way into the middle of the water. This isn't the only example of a similar crossover, as siege armor was also given to boar, so gothic hunters technically had anti-siege damage, strangely enough, and it's just to say there were only so many armor classes to work with, and camels and ships weren't the only ones who had to buddy up on an armor type. Of course, as many people have pointed out, camels are also called ships of the desert, so maybe there was a bit of an inside joke element as well. Now, unlike camels, which made the full switch becoming purely in the camel ship class instead of cavalry, Mamelukes gained camel armor, but also kept cavalry armor, with now a little extra resistance to anti-cavalry units. The net effect of that decision is they took all anti-camel damage, but also a little extra from things very good against cavalry, like pikemen, halberdier, and the heavy camel. Though anything doing less than plus 11 to cavalry, like eagle warriors for example, would have their bonus negated. This is how things stood for a long time, though admittedly it was a little janky, and as the capacity for more armor types was added, eventually the idea was voted to remove the Mamluk's cavalry armor. Of course, if they just took it away outright, that would have massive balance implications, where Mamluks would suddenly take significantly less damage from before, with gameplay and balance implications. In order to keep balance the exact same, what they did was look at every individual unit dealing more than 11 anti-cavalry bonus damage so that some was getting through, and just gave them that leftover amount as a new anti-mameluke bonus, effectively keeping everything the same in practice while removing the mameluke's odd cavalry armor behind the scenes. Suddenly, with this explanation, all of the weird bonuses instantly make sense. For example, mamelukes have plus 9 against cavalry, and elite mamelukes have plus 12. Considering that 11 of that was previously negated, all that really went through was one of the elite Mamluks bonus, which is now preserved as a random looking plus one. Pikemen and heavy camels had a similar thing done, though the halberdier specifically has had its bonus damage brought down a bit because it was pretty punishing considering this is all on top of its regular anti-camel damage. Even the cannon galleons plus four now makes perfect sense, given as we've already seen, they deal plus 15 against cavalry, meaning they were previously having four extra damage go through to the Mameluk. I should note that while this was done with the goal of keeping everything the same in practice, there are at least two examples where this change has had a gameplay impact. The first is the Gurjar's Camel Riders, who start with plus 9 against cavalry, but do 40% more bonus damage. If Mamelukes had not been changed, then this would have led to two extra damage that they take at this point. The other example that comes to mind is Bohemians, with 25% more bonus damage for the spear line, which, since it's applied before armor, would have made them even better against Mamelukes than they are now especially the halberdier, considering how strong its anti-cavalry bonus is. Presumably, these are the sorts of interactions they were trying to avoid by just getting rid of the cavalry armor to begin with, and as you add more civilizations and bonuses, eventually they were probably concerned about running into situations like this, where Mamluks get completely destroyed by something they didn't intend. So that's the story of what was really going on, and thanks to Trirem, Holy Roman Emperor, and a few others in the comments for explaining that, as it's an interesting story and clarifies a lot of otherwise seemingly random bonuses. Before we wrap up though, while we're already on the topic of weird attack bonuses, there's actually one additional oddity that was pointed out in the comments on the last video. This is again from Holy Roman Emperor, who points out that it's a lot more than just Step Lancers who have an unexpected 2 extra damage against Ballista Elephants, in this case because of the Elephant's negative 2 Siege Armor. It turns out they also have negative 2 Cavalry Armor, meaning any anti-cavalry unit will do 2 extra damage. 
Complicating this though is the Chukunu and a whole bunch of infantry units secretly do plus zero to cavalry, which in all of their cases shows up as an otherwise unexplainable two extra damage against Ballista Elephants specifically. At least one reason for so many infantry units having a secret cavalry attack of zero is because of the Vikings tech chieftains, which since it increases cavalry damage means those units have to have that attack type in the first place, even if it's set to zero. At the end of the day, it just means Ballista Elephants are a bit squishier than they look in a lot of matchups, though they're also starting with a base of 250 HP, so they're maybe not that squishy. We'll leave things there though, and hopefully that supplied your daily dose of AoE2 trivia. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.